Oh, have you been drinking, so? Why do you Excuse have to keep, keep clearing your throat? Seriously, that's where we're going with this? I have not been drinking. Um, questions I'm allowed to ask you to rustle you up. You want to try to rustle me up by asking me questions? Jesse, we can both do that. Jesse, this isn't the first time I've dealt with you. You're not bothering me. This is pretty common for you. So, you messed up out of the vehicle. So go ahead and step out. Do what? Excuse me? And my name's Corporal Board. <clears throat> I asked you to step out of the vehicle. <clears throat> for what? Because <clears throat> I want to talk to you. So step out of the vehicle. You can talk to me from right here, sir. Step out of the vehicle. I don't need to step out of the vehicle. <clears throat> call your sergeant. I'm the one that's in charge right now. Call so your, call your boss. I've have done his, nothing wrong. You have his license and everything else. We have reasonable Yes, you do have stop. my license. We clear, we run, everything is good to go. I haven't heard anything back yet. Okay. You can talk to me so, plain as day from right here. Is there a reason I'll that put you my step phones right here? Because I don't need to step out of the vehicle, sir. You guys need to do your job and know that I know what your job is as well as mine. You don't know what my job is. Okay. You have no idea what my I job do, is. I do have not, I do have not you have do. any so reason then, to be so pulled out of my know vehicle. So the Supreme Court said that whenever a traffic stop is made, if an officer asks you to step out of the vehicle, you step out of the vehicle. What have I done? What are you, am I being cited with? Doesn't matter. At this point, you're being detained. I just step for, out of the vehicle. For what? I'm not going to search your vehicle. I just want to talk to you away from the you vehicle. You can't for a talk to me from right here. Why can't you step out of the vehicle? Because uh, do I need to step there's out court, of the vehicle? There, there's court law that says that there's nothing wrong with me asking you to step out of the vehicle. The court just says it's fine. What what is what code is or what is that? Uh, I don't have to give that to you. You can look it up later on your own time. Okay. You're on my you time know right it. Now. Do you know it? I know. That I that pay you, sir, and him. Everybody pays me. Okay. And guess what? <clears throat> so technically, I also pay taxes as well, so I also pay my own paycheck. Okay, okay? So that's that th fabulous. So, so that means nothing to me. Okay. All this stuff you're saying. You need to me to get me. out of my vehicle so you can talk to me. Yeah, when you're I, talking to me right I, here, I, making that makes no sense I to me. I want you to step by the back of the vehicle so you can speak with me. I please, can speak with you right explain, here. You also told me that you have a knife on your person. Do you want it? It's a fishing knife. Do you okay. want it? A knife can cut me as well as Do anything you else want can cut it? me. And it's not going to cut you. No, I don't want your knife. I don't want you to remove okay. it because I don't want to put a weapon into your hand. I don't either. Even though you have one on you right now. No, I don't. After telling me you have one. That doesn't mean that it's still on me. <clears throat> can you please call your sergeant? I'm not calling a sergeant. I don't need a sergeant here. <clears throat> have we got a return yet on him? Is he good to go? He's valid? Everything's valid? Okay, so who is the person that I don't ran know. out of the vehicle? So you're telling me that a person was inside your vehicle, and you didn't know who they were? Yes, sir. You don't think that's kind of odd? I don't let random people ride in in sir, my personal car. Am I am do is my stuff clear? I I mean, it really doesn't matter because I have nothing the thing to is, say is to that. You. It is suspicious whenever we pull behind a car Have you been drinking, sir? Why do you Excuse have to keep, keep clearing your throat? Seriously, that's where we're going with this? I have not been drinking. Okay. Um, questions I'm allowed to ask you to rustle you up. You want to try to rustle me up by asking me questions? Jesse, we can both do that. Jesse, this isn't the first time I've dealt with you. You're not bothering me. This is pretty common for you. So, Why don't you look right? at me, sir? I don't I've have a passenger. I, I have dealt with you several times. You had a passenger that ran out of the vehicle, and you're telling me Regardless, you have no idea Regardless, you're looking over there talking to me. Why does it matter where I look? Because you respect a man, you'd look at him in their eyes. Okay. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, I don't understand who you're talking to if you're I'm looking at somebody you. else. You just said you're the okay, only person now, in the vehicle. Yeah, so is there somebody me. else in the vehicle? No, sir. No, Do there's you see not. anybody else okay, in the so vehicle? Okay, so who was in the vehicle with you? I don't know. You know, Why do you keep you asking have, me the same questions over and over looking for a you, different because answer? Because you refused to answer the question. I answered the question. You did? You're telling me you have no yes, idea sir. who that person was? I answered the question. You have no idea who that person no, was? No, sir. Okay. Jesse, like always, it's always been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. Look around all you want to, sir, on the outside of the vehicle. Yeah, I took my key out or I rolled my damn window back up. Hey Jesse, you're getting a citation for a no insurance. What's your current address? Um, 
it should be on file. It's 5901 Coffeen Avenue, lot number 97. Thank you, sir. Also, sir, with your uh, willingness, you can, I can check the glove box or something. I don't know because I don't trust you officers and me reaching around to look for my insurance enough. Hey, Jesse? Sir. You have a gun or anything in that, in that glove box? No, sir. Okay. Do you think you have some insurance it's in that glove box? It's very possible. Very possible? Okay. Well, I, I have a center console and a glove box. Like I said, it's my mother's vehicle. Okay. So I can check there. Sure. Go ahead. I know it's insured because all of our vehicles are insured okay. through Progressive well, here Jesse, at Wyoming is, Financial okay, well, Jesse, Insurance. This is very simple. It we're writing your citation because there's no proof of it go right ahead and, now. Go ahead and write the citation, sir, and I'll just I'll just deal with it in court. Okay. I, I don't need to worry about looking for okay. it. We'll deal with it that way and okay. waste more of our money, huh? Okay, Jesse. Let's so, do it so, that way. So please understand that if you do, in fact, have insurance, if you contact the insurance company and ask them to send you a piece of paper, they will, if you, in fact, have insurance right now, they'll I do. They'll My send mother you, does. Okay, they'll send you a document saying that at this time of date during the traffic stop, you, in fact, had, yep. had insurance through whatever company. When you have that, take, I do have it. I understand how this works, sir. All the way. Okay, well then I'll stop explaining it to you. Thank you. What's your dog's name? You don't know your dog's name? It's not my dog. Oh, this is the lady. She's ran her dog on my. Can you keep your dog's nails off my vehicle, please? She's done this once before at the courthouse on camera, on recording. So I'll just add it up on you guys. Okay. Oh, the dog's got to go to the restroom. Let's go ahead and show that. So Jesse, you said before that you didn't know the name of the pastor that was with you. You know. Where'd you pick them up at? So I'm not answering any more questions. Okay. What is your officer's name? Corporal Rogers. Corporal Rogers. Corporal Rogers. Okay. It's different than what I was told. It was, uh, and you guys don't have a sergeant on duty? No. Okay. Thank you. She can circle the car ten times, the dog's not gonna hit on anything because we don't have anything. Okay. You'd think a good dog would only have to circle at one time. You Maybe you can calibrate your dog. Huh. When will my uh, citation be ready? Okay. How long does it take to write a citation? Because it doesn't normally take 10 minutes to write one citation. He has my ID. That's all he needs to write the citation. So here, I'll explain this to you. I have a little packet for you too. Thank you. It's a citation for failure to maintain liability insurance. Set your court date out. Court date out for the fourth of May, eight thirty in the morning. Municipal okay. Court. I understand what no insurance tickets are. And this one's for your broken windshield. Okay. One ten. Appreciate it. Same date. Let me grab that packet for you. Yeah, they did not take a picture or nothing of my broken window for their evidence. These are the people we have working for us.
the no insurance is a must appear so make sure you're there appreciate it yep now i'm uh, free to go you gave me my id and that concludes our video for today please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video if you're old here like share comment down below what you think of this interaction and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel if you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.